Let me talk about my buddy Alan Johnson in Decatur. Call them at 221-4608. They can even, if you've got cracks or your pool, uh, your concrete around your pool that has been sinking, they can fix it. They can do little stuff to big stuff from mold to crack bricks, unsettling in your house, your foundation. Call Alan. He's with us on Tuesdays up here too. Allied over in Decatur, Alabama. All right, y'all see the horse race the other day. California Chrome did not win. Right. And you saw what his owner did. Yeah. Stupid. Well, you know, you, out, well, yeah. the thing about it, though, is he, he didn't, how many millions of dollars did he just lose and you catch a guy, I mean, he was just angry about that. Got and mad at his got, wife, too. Yeah, and told her to shut up. <laughs> and, did he but, say shut up? Well, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Now, Joseph, would you ever turn to Carissa, like I noticed yesterday and I was watching y'all, you never said shut up. No. <laughs> he knows better. No. You got to out of respect, treat your, treat your wife. Well, anyway, it says with the rise of thoroughbred, this is a... Uh, Shut up ain't part of it, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That's an example of what makes America special. Feel good, rags to riches store until it went bad. The outcome, you know, plucked down $2 or more for the horse. Most thought was going to be the first triple crown winner since 78. Finished the dead heat for four. Uh, his reaction after the loss made him look like the worst example of sportsmanship in the mm -hmm. 21st century. Well, he'll now with him. two days to clear his head, an obvious remorseful uh, Coburn has faced the TV cameras again. This time he wasn't angry, angry respectful of the horse, the owners, and the staff, the ones that beat his horse. I mean, not them, I mean, beat him in the race. Said, uh, but we apologize. We make amends. This is America, and when we do, our friends, our family, our fellow Americans, forgive us. And we're all the richer for us. Most it says, tell your children the story of California Chrome and Steve Coburn, even though it might not give them a warm, fuzzy feeling. The horse doesn't win. The owner isn't a refined gentleman, just a man who dared to enjoy his moment in the spotlight and got carried away. Well, but learning that we can make mistakes and be forgiven is important in the growing up process, whether we're three or 61. Blah, blah, blah. How much money has that man made? Well, off a ten thousand dollar horse. Yeah, but I agree with his with his uh, statement about you know the other horses staying out and not in that. But I mean, yeah, but to, to be a trip, I, I know, years. but yeah. it, I just when he said that, it just it dawned on me that it made sense. But that, you can't change but the rules. All today. the other, but that, that's that's well, I know, but I, yeah. I mean, this for you the know. future is what it's for. I that's doubt they'll to, change the rules. They ain't gonna change the rules. That's just part of it. Either your horse yeah. wins or he doesn't. Loser. Shut up and move yeah. on. You don't hear me up here complaining, do you? Oh, never. But, but, but that's, the reason <laughs> that's, why, that's the reason why he said there never will be another Triple Crown. No. That's Probably, one thing. <laughs> yeah, that's one reason you never... Oh, you heard about the worst kept secret ever, didn't you, Joseph? Mm-mm. Leaked iPad I 6. I6. Six. Six, iPhone. Oh, iPhone 6. Oh. It's out. You didn't hear about that? No, I didn't. There's a picture September. of it right there. Huh? In September, okay. I believe they're yeah. supposed to come out. They're supposed to have a much bigger screen. Apple's yeah. big screen. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like in between. I don't know how I'm going to get an iPad looking thing in my pocket. No, the, uh, the iPad I mini. Yeah. Kind of in between the two. <laughs> they're going to be like the boom boxes on yeah. the shelf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, yeah, carrying that around. All right, I got to put the phone in my pocket. George Bush <laughs> turns 90 years old wow. here in the next few days. Put that down right quick, Brad. Did y'all get a chance to no, look at that? No, we didn't see no. it. All right, here's a question to y'all. <laughs> Ex-presidents who have lived, there's one, two, three, four, who have lived more than 90 years. Now, who are they? Was Reagan. Tom, you seem to be the man with the button no, all this morning. Man, that's right down my alley with politics, but I can't tell you. Presidents. <laughs> uh, I'd only Nixon. guess. Nixon? He died young. He lucky he lived to be 70. <laughs> okay, see, I'm terrible. How old was Reagan? 89? He didn't make it. Yeah, yeah he did. He did make it. He did make it. Yeah. He did yeah. 20 years. All right, I got one. Yeah. Gerald 93. Ford, 93 years. You put it up now, Brad, since they don't know the answer. Gloria know got nothing. one of them. All right. Ronald Reagan, John Adams. John Adams. Oh, I'm going to give y'all a real trivia question. 90 years old. What president was he? John Adams. Come on, Brad, come out here. I'm going to see if they get this right. Uh, Brad, second, shut up! Second president. <laughs> no. Fourth. Very good, Tom. Fourth. Joseph, where'd you go to school? Scottsboro. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> we gotta go back to school. And Herbert there. Hoover, yeah. Hmm. So second was accurate. Is that who they named the Hoover Dam after? Huh? <laughs> Herbert Hoover. Very good. You tried to catch up now, aren't you? I didn't you? know that one. I gotta drink a Coke. Oh, that's good, Joseph. Yeah.
<laughs> how many do you, I mean, when you had to go to school and learn all that, do you actually remember it anymore? No. Obviously, we don't. <laughs> well, when was Adam's present? What year? Uh, what number? I'll get it right. I know my present. Okay, okay, you tell me. He was number two. No. Well, well what did I say? Well, you got it right. I, I said you that. got it right. Oh, I thought he said you so was That's what I thought he said. No, I said you got it right. Oh, okay. No. He was two. Which present was his son? <laughs> mm, fourth? Little. Very good, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you know I always surround myself with people who make me look smart. Yeah, history, mm. don't ask me a question. Right. What'd you say? And I had don't a little help on that. I carry a Coke with me at church everywhere. You're not supposed to take stuff in the sanctuary, but I sneak a Coke in. Mm -hmm. It's because it's one drink of a carbonated drink can fix my mental problems. <laughs> mental? <laughs> I wish it were that easy. <laughs> All right, it says here, I saw this on AL.com. Coke is the second most popular word in the world. Next mm -hmm. Next to, Next to uh, hello. Hello. I would have eventually gotten it. Well, I'm trying to help you out. I'm getting slow. Well, I know. Well, that <laughs> coke hadn't worked yet. All right. <laughs> How the berry itself absolutely poison to the human metabolism? Coke is very close to the acidic level of battery acid. Yeah. It says here, the carbonation of coke causes calcium loss in bones. Yeah. Coke don't advertise it, do they? No, Pepsi is pretty good. Yeah, Pepsi is real good. <laughs> well, carbonation irritates the stomach, and we'll go on through that. And this says Coke softens your bones, Joseph. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Softens. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Causes the acid. Mm -hmm. It also causes you to have acid reflux. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How it helps me with that? mine. It's but reverse. Twenty practical uses for Coke. Uh -oh. You've been right. in the car business. You already know one of them. I already know one of them. What is it? I've seen my dad do it. If you're out traveling and you got bugs on the windshield or just that gunky film, yeah, this is different. I ain't heard this one. one. Yeah. yeah. My dad would stop and get a Coke and pour it across the windshield as the wipers were running. You've done that before, haven't really? you? Really? I have. It I works. Have. Yeah, all of, us, all of us old folks know about yeah. that. It probably eats all the, all the metal down at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, probably so. Drains, I've seen my dad do it, though. <laughs> all right, here's, it works, huh? The Supreme Coke does not belong to human. Here are 20 practical ways. Remove okay. his, removes grease stain from clothing and fabric. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. And windshields. <laughs> removes rust. <laughs> Uh, using fabric dipped in coke, a sponge, or even aluminum foil also loosens rusty bolts. Okay. You ever, you ever seen them use it at a wreck? What? In a wreck? In a wreck. At uh -oh, a wreck what? spot where somebody's had wreck and there's blood on the... Uh, no. If you have blood... Where are you hanging out, Tom? If you that, have clean, blood, that cleans that off. That Removes? Also, also, I want to say this so you know, if you have blood stains on carpet, clothing, just get peroxide and put it on and it instantly gets rid of it. Removes blood stains. Is that what you don't know? Yeah. yeah. See? Mm. Or peroxide. Cleans oil stains from garage floor. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Kills slugs and snails. I thought no, salt, salt did that. Salt did that. <laughs> <laughs> Cleans burnt yeah. pans. There you go. You need yeah. to keep a coke around. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, cleans car battery terminals. Right. Yep. Cleans your engine. Coke distributors have been using this technique for decades. Mm -hmm. Makes pennies shine. Yeah. <laughs> Cleans tile grout, ah. pour on the kitchen floor, leave for a few minutes, wipe up, dissolve a tooth. Dissolve a tooth. Removes gum from hair. Removes, get, got a dirty poo, add a two liter Coke of Coke and cleans up rust. How yeah. dirty is your freaking poo? You get rust <laughs> in their pool? Rust in their poo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just How do you get prevent it, too. You can remove, Abby, or fade dye from your hair by pouring Diet Coke over it. <laughs> diet Coke, not Coke. Clean your toilet. Remove toilet market it. stains from carpet. Oh. Clean a toilet, pour around a bowl, leave for a while, flush clean. Mm -hmm. Clean out your metal sink. Coke and aluminum foil bring chrome to a high shine. Uh -huh. Shiny chrome. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Strip, paints off, strip paint off metal furniture. And gee, what does it do to our body? Mm. <laughs> wow. Well, anyway, somebody goes on to say, if this was really that bad, they would no way we'd be able to drink. That's one of the comments on here. You think uh, it'd eat right huh? through you? you, well, you would it also is right pretty good you. with bacon. Yeah. Yeah. I got to tell you, you can say what you want to, but growing up, and even now, there ain't nothing better than a... Ice cold. Yeah, with a little Pepsi. six ounce. Pepsi. The little six ounce glass bottles have always been the best. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's different yeah, about them. I know. I like Just Coke and ice in, in a glass glass or the little Coke you? bottles. All right, again, I, I want to go it. back to who can decipher this message from our <laughs> granddaughter, two years old, little Miss Maddie right. Cooper, huh? 
We'll see y'all bright and early tomorrow. Thank you, Joseph. Tell yes, Carissa, sir. thank you for the meeting yesterday. We'll fill y'all in more on high cotton as we... She's saying watch Cooper and Company because you miss this, 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 this. That's, right. That's what she says <laughs> each and every day. Here's that video of Maddie again from last night with Abby, her mama, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> i got to go to some welding. <laughs> Up in the morning, you know the square time. Everybody says he's a real gone cat. Get out of here. Get out of here. Early in the morning, we're here for you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here.